Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just take it and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Stormberg, which was released with the Doomsday Heist DLC. Now, this vehicle is submersible, as you can see in the picture down below. And it doesn't actually look too bad of a vehicle on the base of it as well. So I'm really intrigued of how this is going to transform as you go into the water. But we're going to find that out in a little while. As you can see, we've got a trade price of 2.3 and then a buy it now price of 3.1 so you know if you if you're quite flush in gta maybe there's not much point in doing the trade price if you want to buy this straight up because you're not saving a shit ton of money if you didn't already know i have done a buy it all video already on my channel so if you want to check that out go and check that out so i'm not going to be purchasing this right now because i've already bought it so like i said if you want to buy this vehicle it's going to cost you over 2.3 or 3.1 but i've already bought it so let's get in to my vehicle my stormberg that is and see what sort of customizations we can do to this vehicle so here we go guys, now we're inside the Avenger, you'll see what sort of customizations we can do to this Stormberg. And as always, we're going to start with 100% body armor, then we're going to go to the brakes, we're going to get the race brakes, then we've got the engine, we've got the level 4 engine upgrade, we're going to skip past the horn, we're going to get the lights, uh, go to the Xeon headlights. But we're going to skip a neon kit for this build, then we've got the respray. I actually really like it in white, I think it actually looks quite cool, but have a quick look at the metallic colours and see what other colours we can have this in. Um, because I don't think, because of the style of the car, I think uh, it's really difficult to find a colour which is going to suit it. Um, because cars like this only suit certain colours, in my opinion. Um, I think red being one of them actually looks quite good in red. Uh, yellow is another one. I'm not a massive fan of yellow vehicles, but I think this type of vehicle actually suits yellow. And it'll be like the yellow submarine. <laughs> the yellow submarine. <laughs> I've made up my mind on yellow, so we're going to go metallic um, yellow for the primary and also for the secondary colour we're going to go metallic and purchase a race yellow. So next we've got the transmission, I'm going to purchase a race transmission and the turbo tuning for the wheels. Um, wheel type, I don't think as much, I can't even fucking see them man. Uh, we're going to go with, mm, we're going to go with low rider, start with low rider, go with chrome. They actually look quite good from the side. I can't even fucking see them. You can't turn the car enough inside this Avenger to be able to see the side of the vehicle. But they actually look quite good. The Gooch ones, I think I'm going to go with them. Why the fuck not? So now we're going to go to the tyres. I'm going to purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off this build, as always, we're going to windows and purchase the light smoke window tin. So again, my dudes, there is my build on the brand new Stormberg. And I think it actually looks quite cool, man. Let's get out on the streets and um, see how it submerges. Because that is one thing that I'm really intrigued about, and that is how it goes into the water. But anyway, um, just looking at it, it actually looks really nice, man. It doesn't look that bad. That sounds really cool, too. Sounds really nice. Is there water down there? Yeah, fuck it. Here we go. How's it going to handle it? What's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. oh no, I've got to switch. Switch. Hold it. Switch. Shit. <laughs> this, this game is ridiculous, man. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> oh, we press X to use the weapons and all as well. What the hell, man? This is... Oh, my God. I, I've run out of <laughs> things to say about this game. It, oh, it is just crazy. We know in this DLC we have a flying car, <laughs> we have a jetpack, and we have a submarine car, man. This is just, oh my god, what what next? This can't be it for GTA, man. This can't be the end. What else can Rockstar bring out into this game? This is just crazy stuff. Oh, okay. So when you're under the under the water, they're tor torpedo. So get your words out Jakey boy they're torpedoes uh, and when you go out of the water it turns into a machine gun but anyway this is um, you know this is <laughs> this is different this is weird it's slow as fuck under the water uh, let's, let's see if we can here we go let's turn it back into a car there we go and we'll see what oh no no I had to go in there fuck I wanted to see how how it drives on the road <laughs> So here we go, I'm once again outside of my facility, and there we go, there are the machine guns. Not all that, to be honest. And to be honest, man, this, this uh, vehicle actually seems really quite quick. What class is it in? Sports Classic. 
So there's another sports classic car in the game. Uh, I highly doubt that you're going to be able to use this in a race because obviously it's a special vehicle. But it sounds amazing. The acceleration on it is really, really good. And it seems quite capable about going around these corners as well. It holds nicely, there's no sliding. Oh my god, that was a, a bump in the road. I've just hit and it's just spun me up in the air. Oh my god, stop. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, man, it actually seems really capable. Brakes seem quite good. Handling's nice. Acceleration's good. Um, I won't be able to tell about top speed until I get in a straight line whether it would be, you know, any good or not. But we, as you can see, it's really low because we just went under that barrier. Holy shit. But as we go, hold down the accelerator. It's picking up speed quite nicely. So I think this is a very, very capable vehicle. You know, it's really cool, man. That's actually really good. And it fucking submerges. Goes under the water. So if you fucking, by accident, somehow, I don't know, fall in the water for whatever reason, all you got to do is hold right on a D-pad. Can we change it now? We can. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, let's go back to normal. So you can change it at any time. You don't have to be inside of the, or under the water to be able to change it. It does change at any time. Um, so yeah, if you fall in the water un unexpectedly, <laughs> you just hold right on the D-pad and it changes you into a submarine. This thing is crazy. Along with the DeLorean, I'm actually really impressed with this vehicle. Um, you know, the price is, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's very expensive. But it's a fun vehicle, it's a quirky vehicle, whether it'll lose its novelty after a few weeks, who knows. But I'm enjoying it. I think it's pretty fucking sweet. And uh, I'll suggest to buy it. Maybe not buy a whole shark card to buy it. Because uh, shark cards are very, very expensive. But if you've got the money in GTA already, I, I you know, I suggest to buy it. Because it is really, really cool. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of my build and review of the Stormberg. Oh, what's it? I think it is called the Stormberg. Yeah, that's going to be the end of my build and review of the Stormberg inside of GTA. The brand new DLC vehicle bought with the Doomsday Heist DLC. Uh, so if you did enjoy, please smash the motherfucking like. And if you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.